For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do these two problems that says uh, two forces F1 and F2 act on the screw eye if the resultant force FR has a magnitude of 150 pounds and the coordinate direction angle shown determine the magnitude of F2 and its uh, coordinate direction angle so we got F1 F2 and FR and this is what we're trying to find so Just by looking at it, we're gonna work with F1 first. We can tell that F1 is equal to 0i plus ADJ plus 0k. Because this is force right here, no x component, no c component. F2 is the one we're trying to find plus, plus ck. And FR has this magnitude and this coordinate. So FR has an X component, a Y component, and a C component we're going to find. The X component is FR cosine of 120, this angle that it forms with the X axis, which is equal to negative 75. Fy is Fr cosine of 130, which is this angle that it forms right here, which will be negative 96.4, but it becomes positive because this is the angle it forms with the negative uh, side of the y-axis. Now to find f of c, you know that f of r is equal to 150 is given right here and you know that the magnitude which is f of r squared is equal to f of x squared plus f of y squared plus f of c squared and with this value this value and this value we plug them in here here and here and we solve for this one and you're gonna get that let's put it right here you're gonna get that f of c is equal to 87.1 so now that we found the resultant force let's write it right here negative 75i plus 96.4j plus 87.1k you know that adding these two together should equal to this one so we're going to form our equations 0 plus x is equal to negative 75 0 plus x is negative 75 so x is equal to negative 75 our second equation is 80 plus y is equal to 96.4 therefore y is equal to 16.4 so 80 plus y is equal to 96.4 and our last equation is 0 plus z is equal to 87.1 so c is equal to 87.1 0 plus c is equal to 87.1 so these are the values for f2 f2 is equal to negative 75i plus 16.4j plus 87.1k so now that we have these values we can find the magnitude of f2 by doing the square root of the x component plus the y component plus the c component and this is going to give you that f2 is equal to 116.1 with this value we can calculate the, the direction angles remember this is the angle it forms with the x 
this is the angle it forms with the y and this is the angle it forms with the z and to calculate them you do the cosine inverse of the x component over the magnitude this one you do the y component over the magnitude and for this one you do the c component over the magnitude this is the x component, this is the y component and this is the c component and obviously this is the magnitude so when you plug those numbers into your calculator you're going to get that these are the angles 130.2 degrees 81.9 degrees and 41.4 degrees final answer